Hey guys, Chris from Adapt Tuition here, and in this video, I'm going to show you the solution for question 2 from the Jan 2012 PUA Paper 2. If you want to see the solutions for the other questions on this paper, I'm going to put a card up there and a link in the description below. So be sure to check those out as well. And with that said, let's get into the question. Okay, so we are told that on 1 Jan 2012, partner A had to go on a sudden business trip. He provided partner B with the following information, including reminders about their partnership agreement. Okay, so we have a big table I'm going to break up into pieces. So the top half of the table, which I'm showing now, shows the capital for partner A and partner B, 60,000, 20,000 respectively. The interest on capital, 10% per year. The drawings for partner A and partner B are 14,000 and 12,000 respectively. Then we have interest on drawings of 5%. Then we have the share of profit between partner A and partner B, 75% and 25%. Now you'll notice there's no salaries to the partners, but we'll see. There's the next half of this table. Let's pull it up. And we're going to just kind of highlight it like this. So we have sales, cost of sales, rental revenue, insurance expenses, wages, bonus to employees at year's end, depreciation on office buildings, office supplies, office supplies and stock at year's end. Oh, this is interesting. Oh, I know what has to happen here. Okay, I'll show you. Discounts allowed. Okay. Now, what's the first thing they want us to, to do? They want us to identify three items from the list above that would be found in A and B's partnership agreement. Okay, so that's relatively easy. So we're going to go back up to the first half of the table and we're simply going to pull out the items that will be found in the partnership agreement. So the interest on capital, the interest on drawings, and the profit sharing ratio. Okay, so that's it for part A. Let's take a look at part B. So part B says that they want us to do, or prepare rather, the income statement for the partners for the period ended 31st December 2011. Okay, so we're going to pull up the part of the table with the income statement data. That's this set of items here. And of course, I'm going to pull up my solution on this side. So be sure to edit it properly. A and B partnership income statement for FYE stands for the year ended 31st December 2011. So we're going to start with the sales of 170. We're going to minus the cost of sales 90. That's going to give us gross profit of 80,000. Now we have rental revenue which we have to add. So 80 and 20 is going to give us 100,000. Now we have some expenses. We have insurance of 4,300. We have wages of 28,002. We have bonus to employees at year's end 5,500. Depreciation on office buildings, 7,500. Now we have this thing with the office supplies and the office supplies in stock at year's end. So what this is telling us is that we spent 8,100 on office supplies and we still have 2,000 worth of those office supplies left. So it means that we used up 6,100. We are going to put that there. So you see that we're working, 8,100 minus 2,000, 6,100. And the last thing we have is the discounts allowed. Of 900 so we're going to total up those expenses it's going to give us a subtotal of 52,500 which we of course are going to subtract from the gross profit well after adding rental revenue and that's going to give us 47,500 for net income okay let's take a look at part C all right so part C says to prepare the appropriation account for the period ended 31st December 2011 so let's go up to that section of the table where we had the appropriation account information and now let's pull up the solution on this side here. So of course, don't forget to head up A and B partnership, appropriation account or partnership appropriation account, FYE for the year ended December 31st, 2011. Now we're gonna start with the 47,500 that we found just now in the income statement. That's the net income before appropriation. Now the first thing we're gonna do is add interest on drawing. So the drawings figures were 14,000 and 12,000 respectively for partner A and B. The interest on those drawings figures was 5% per annum. So all we have to do is multiply 5% by 14,000 for partner A. That's going to give us $700 worth of interest on drawings. And do the same thing for partner B, 5% of these 12,000, which gives us $600. Totaling 700 and 600 gives us 1,300, which we're going to add to the 47,500 to get 48,800. And now we're going to deal with the appropriation. Now we only have one item really to appropriate, which is the interest on capital. So that's 10% per year and the partner's capital balances are 60,000 and 20,000 respectively for A and B. So interest on capital for A would be 10% of that 60,000, which is 6,000. And for B, it's 10% of 20,000, which is 2,000. 
totaling 6,000 and 2,000 gives us 8,000, which we then subtract from the 48,800 above to give us 40,800. And we have to share that profit. So it's, you, could, you could call it share of remaining profit, share of residual profit, share of profit after appropriation. So it tells us here in the table that the profit is shared between partner A and partner B, 75% and 25% respectively. So all we have to do is find 75% of the 40,800, which is 30,006. 25% would be 10,002. When you add it back up, it matches the 40,008. And we have no more profit left in the appropriation account as it's been all shared to the partners. Okay, I think we have one more part of this question with one mark. Let's take a quick look. Okay, so they're asking us something very interesting here. How much more cash, if any, can partner B withdraw from the business without taking away from his capital? Show your working. Okay, so partner B, we're seeing, has drawings of 12,000 already. They also have a capital of 20,000. But to answer this question, we sort of have to do a makeshift calculation based on the current account, because the current account will show the partner's earnings and the partner's withdrawals. And if the partner has more earnings than withdrawals, then they could proceed to withdraw more cash. So let's take in the partner's earnings. So the partner's earnings would be found in the appropriation account. And we had two. We had the interest on capital of 2,000 and the share of profit of 10,200, sorry, totaling 12,200 as the total earnings from the partnership. Now, the withdrawals from the partnership, that was the drawings, which was the 12,000 we saw both in the trial balance and above in the appropriation account. And in the appropriation account, we also saw the interest on drawings of $600. So when we add those two figures together, we get 12,006. Now that's already more than the 12,002, the earnings. So the partner's current account is actually in deficit and the partner actually cannot withdraw any more without reducing their capital. So that was a bit strange because they asked us how much more, if any, can partner be okay. They said, if any. So that tells us that it's possible that the partner cannot withdraw any more. Okay. All right. So that's about it for this question. Okay, guys. So there you have it. That's the solution for question two from the Jan 2012 PUA paper two. If you have any questions about it, please feel free to leave them in the comment section below and I'll get back to you when I have a chance. If you want to check out any more videos, I'm going to put some cards up here. Don't forget to subscribe and please be sure to check out my website where you'll find some useful free POA handouts. And as per usual, guys, thank you so much for watching. Take care of yourselves and I'll see you next time. Bye.